It's officially official now. R.J. Davis has announced he's returning to Chapel Hill for a fifth season, which means he has the chance to go from a memorable, very good Tar Heel to one of the all-time greats. That's what's at stake for R.J. because he's already achieved more than most players will ever do. Final Four appearance, ACC Player of the Year, First Team All-American this past season. For just those things, he's going to have his jersey number honored at the Smith Center in the Raptors. That's why it's a little surprising that he returns to Carolina. What else does he have to accomplish? Here was R.J. Davis on his YouTube channel, on his vlog, announcing his decision. With that being said, bro, with that being said, we're going to run this thing back. I'm going to come back for my fifth year. Let's get this shit, man. And for all y'all out there saying that I'm old, I need to get a job, and I know all the old jokes are coming, da-da-da-da. I'm 22 years old, bro. I'm not 25, I'm not 28. Feel me? I'm 22. I was a regular senior. I have a fifth year due to COVID. You feel me? So, y'all can bring the old jokes on, but I just had to get that out there because I don't really care what y'all got to say for me. It don't bother me. <laughs> Okay. That being said. For one, <laughs> whispering's funny. For two, I think you do care about those old jokes or else you wouldn't be saying that. Who was making the old jokes? He was pulling a bee rabbit from 8 Mile. I'm going to take away your ammunition before you even use it. What do you got now, Papa Doc? That being said. Getting back to what he has to achieve. RJ could be the eighth retired jersey in school history. Now, in order to do that, he needs to be a national player of the year. He's likely going to be the favorite to do that. When you think about the best players going into the college basketball this year, you got RJ, who's the returning first-team All-American, the only All-American team player that's coming back, first-teamer. Hunter Dickinson, that's report returning to Kansas for another year, and Cooper Flagg at Duke. That leads to a poll question we have today. Cooper Flagg is going to play one season at Duke. We know RJ has one more year left, and that's it. RJ might not get drafted. Cooper Flagg is going to go number one. Who would you rather have? You're a coach. You're picking one of these players. RJ Davis or Cooper Flagg? Who would you prefer? On social media, early returns say 68%. 68% uh, say RJ Davis they would prefer. I think I'm with him too, but I could certainly see the other side of that. But if he were to win National Player of the Year and he would have his number retired, that would put him in a class with these seven players. Here are the seven retired jersey numbers. Rosenbluth, Ford, Glamick, MJ, Worthy, Jamison, Hansborough. And then you could have Davis up there. And number four, never worn again by a Tar Heel. That's what he's looking at. And hanging an even bigger banner than that, winning a national championship after coming so close a couple of years ago. Then you have the ACC scoring record. That's going to be a central storyline this year for the Tar Heels. He is 784 points behind Hansborough's record. Most points scored by an ACC player in their career. Why is that number significant? Because 784 is the exact number of points he scored this past year. So it's going to be close. Can he exceed that number? Can he reach the number that he just hit? That'll be interesting. Obviously, you'll have an asterisk for playing an extra year, but still, a record is a record, and RJ could potentially break that and become, again, an all-time Carolina great. That's what's on the line for him.